hey guys, yesterday Justin Greening, the Education Secretary, made a really, really big announcement about the new 91 grading structure, um, how it affects you, but it's quite complicated. So in this video, um, I'm just going to try and explain it um, and try and help you understand it. And the problem is that because it's a new grading structure, nobody really understands it. In her speech yesterday, Justine Greening said, and I'm quoting here, I want to provide certainty about how the new grading will work, in particular the consequences for individual pupils of achieving a grade four or a grade five. So whereas previously, a C was a good pass. So even though like A star to G, they were passes at GCSE, we all knew that, you know, a good pass was a C. That's what you know, employers were looking for, that's what schools were looking for, was looking for a C. Now when the new grading structure came in, they told us that a good pass was now going to be a 5. Now, 5 and C don't really overlap, because a grade 5 is just going to be like the very, very top of a C and the bottom of a B. And then a grade 4 was going to be kind of like the middle bottom of a C and then a D. So they were making it harder for you to get a good pass. They have now changed it. And um, what are we in now? What are we in now? I should know this. March. So they've changed it with months to go before the exams. This system has been around, I mean, we've been teaching you it in maths for like nearly two years. This system has been around for a while now. And months before the exams, they've tried to, they've decided to change things. So and now four is going to be a standard pass and five is going to be a strong pass. Now, um, Justine Greening said that she expects employers to treat a 4 as a new C. Um, but the way that schools are going to be graded is based on 5s. So what does this actually mean for you as students? Um, I guess it's good news because now like a, a standard pass, a good pass, is going to be easier to get because it's kind of like the low end of the old C. Um, kind of like top of the old D um, and a five a strong pass which is what we've been told for the past few years is that you had to get for a good pass um, it, it, we don't you don't have to get it anymore I guess and I'm saying I guess because we're not too sure about this um, there are there are loads of problems with this is that there's a whole new grading structure, so no one really understands how it works. Not the teachers, not the examiners, not the government, because the exam grade boundaries are set after you set the exams. So we don't know what the grade boundaries are yet. We've got no idea. We don't know how they're going to relate to an old C, how they're going to relate to an old B. We just don't know. Nobody knows this yet. Um, and if people that do it on a daily basis, like teachers, and the exam boards don't really understand or know how it works, then employers aren't gonna understand and know how it works. So when you go for a job and you say that you've got um, a four, and you go, oh no, but it is an equivalent to a C, well, maybe the examiner, well, the, the employer doesn't really know or understand that because they're looking for fives. We don't know. So on the face of it, this is good news because now you only need to get four in your maths, English, other things. Um, but we don't really know what this means in the future. And because like this change has come so, so late, I mean, we're literally weeks away from the exam they've made this change with very, very little um, information being given to us about in reality what it actually means. There's absolutely nothing to say that in the future, <clears throat> that in like five, ten years time, employers aren't going to accept a four, a standard pass. They're going to want a five, a strong pass. So don't, don't go easy. Don't start settling for fours now. Still try and push yourself as hard as you can because saying that four's going to be okay just makes me uneasy, just like... It makes me uncomfortable, I don't like saying that, it doesn't sit very well with me. Um, this could be because for the past you know, few years we've been saying you're going to need to get five, you're going to need to get five, you're going to need to get five. Um, 
so that's what happened yesterday um it is really really unclear it's just so unclear we don't really know what this means i know this video has probably caused more confusing than it has clarified anything um the announcement was made by justin greening the education secretary just to be helpful in case she wants to ask her any questions i'm going to put her twitter handle on here so that you can ask her things um if you do get a response from her i would love to know what she says as i'm sure would every single school in the country um so i don't know whether this is good news i don't know whether this is bad news um the other really really confusing thing she said is that students are going to be judged on the number of fours that they get but schools are going to be judged on the number of fives that they get so don't expect your school to be going any easier on you because your schools and your teachers are still going to be judged on the number of fives um and for schools and teachers fours aren't going to be good enough where for you fours are going to be good enough and this whole discrepancy in the system doesn't seem like it's going to be something that's going to to me at least, it doesn't seem like something that's going to last, something that's going to stay around, something that seems like a good idea. Um, I just can't see it working very well really. Um, right, so there you go, that's happened yesterday. Didn't clear absolutely anything up at all for you, I'm afraid. Really sorry about that, but it happens and I'm telling you that happened. <laughs>